Hmm. Have you guys heard of this brand? Because I haven't. This is Tozo NC9 upgraded. No? You either, huh? Well, you're about to. Welcome back guys. I'm so excited to bring you yet another video on earbuds and I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Is that, is that weird? Is that weird to be excited to get back in the studio and kind of get back to work for you guys? Let me know down in the comments. For those of you that have never met me or are here for the first time, welcome first and foremost. So glad to have you here in the studio with me. My name is Brandon No D. That's right. There is absolutely no D belonging in this name. Hence, Brandon, not Brandon. Now, can I ask you a personal question? Are you a subscriber of the channel? Because if you're not, you're definitely missing out. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. It only takes a second. And don't forget to hit notifications to be notified in all this crazy content I provide for you. And I'll be sure to make a promise. That's right, we promise here on the channel to deliver you excellent quality as you can already see, but above all, honest reviews. And that, folks, is what you deserve, and that is how I roll on this channel. What are we talking about today? We're talking about the new Tozo, well, I call it new, NC9 upgraded version. Now, if some of you have seen videos on this particular item, they have been around for over a year. I am one of the lucky ones that got the upgraded version, and I am going to tell you all about it coming up. All right, in the box, you're going to get a Tozo quick guide on how to connect your earbuds. And you're also going to get all the information you're going to need as far as operating the touch controls. So you definitely want to hang on to that until you get very familiar with your product. You're also going to get a USB-A to a USB-C charging cable. And you get six sets of silicone earbud tips. I love it when companies go that extra mile and give you more than you need. So definitely they're going to find your perfect fit. So no excuses. All right, guys, in center of attention, here is the Tozo NC9, what they're calling upgraded. Okay, and I'm going to go over the specs on what they actually upgraded from last year's model. But for now, we're going to talk about the case. Check it out, guys. You have Tozo logo on the top and it's a, a pill shaped form size case. Now, however, it is a little thicker than most, but uh, definitely you have to have the room that's going to fit these drivers. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. On the back, you'll find your USB-C charging port, and then that is going to be it. You'll have four indicator lights on the front. So when you lift it open and shut it, you'll be able to see how much is charged for battery life. All right, let's take a look at these wonderful earbuds. Now, something you'll notice right away is one of their upgrades is the right and left is now imprinted on each bud rather than just plain black like the older version. And we're on Brandon's channel, so you guys know what that means. Oh, you don't? 
let me explain. We're gonna check the gravity test on these because we do that on all earbuds, okay? And that is done by Brannon shaking the hell out of these profusely to see if they will fly out. Here we go. Hmm. And that, folks, is why we do this exact test. So uh, definitely don't shake them profusely like Brandon just did, and you'll be okay. All right, taking a closer look at the earbuds themselves. Yes, they may fall out quite easily, but again, you're not gonna be so crazy, or at least now you won't be as crazy. Now you guys are gonna notice they definitely are a little thicker, beefier than some. But first, let's show you what they look like in the ear and how they fit. And one thing I can tell you is I like the fit. They they definitely remind me of the Soundpeats H1s. They're a thicker earbud as well for the driver size and they still fit very nicely, very comfortable. But something that you are going to realize is they do protrude out of the ear a little bit farther than some. So you're most likely not going to be laying your head on a pillow or a flat surface because these would definitely get in the way. But other than that, if you're not doing those things, they definitely feel good. They've got a nice snug fit. They definitely don't feel like they're gonna fall out of the ears by any means. However, that being said, they are going to be easier to grab and pull them out of your ears as well as put them in your ears, okay? When you have that thicker, beefier material to grab onto, it makes it that much simpler. All right, let's go ahead and nerd out with me real quick. I'll go over the specs and then we're gonna do the Brandon Rundown, which is a music test, a mic test, my honest opinion, and we're gonna get you guys out of here safely and soundly. Let's go. All right, what do these have in them? What are they equipped with? And I'm sure you guys have probably noticed by now my voice. Yeah, I've got a little cold going on, but uh, who doesn't? What you're going to get in the Tozo NC9's upgraded version, hybrid active noise canceling with 9.2 millimeter drivers built in. So that's pretty incredible. You're getting ANC and transparency modes and also true wireless. So yes, you can definitely use them in either the right ear or the left independently. They've got built-in dual noise canceling microphones for clear calling. So we're gonna test that out coming up. You're gonna get 24 hours of playtime on the case and eight hours on the buds. You're also going to get Bluetooth 5.0. Yes, it's not 5.2, which some of the earbuds I've done uh, as of late have had the latest and greatest, but 5.0 will be just fine. You'll have no problems with movies, music, no latency issues there. Now, everything I've mentioned so far, the older version have. Okay, so we're probably thinking by now, well, what the hell's the big deal? Why the upgrade, right? What is the upgrade? Here's where things are gonna change for the better. The older version didn't even have an IPX rating, and I believe it was like IPX4, maybe IPX5, but these, however, are definitely stated with an IPX6 rating. So yes, guys, you'll be able to take these outside in rough conditions and have no worries whatsoever. You can have water splash. If you sweat profusely, you know what I mean. They're gonna be just fine. So that is one of the biggest upgrades and I'm usually save this for last on my pros and cons, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys right now, the second greatest thing that they added to these earbuds is you can slap them on a wireless G charge and Bob is your uncle. That's right guys, they did not have that on the older version. A lot of people wish they did. Well, guess what? I think they've been listening because now they do. All right, let's go ahead and stick these in the ear and play ourselves a song. Now, for most of you that know me, I like to test out any earbuds that come with ANC or transparency mode or for this instant, both, okay? And this is done by tapping once on the left earbud. Transparency mode and Yes, that brings up the ambience right behind me. I can hear myself talking. So a perfect scenario would be if you're out alone, jogging or walking by yourself, you wanna be able to hear that ambience behind you, you're gonna be able to do it with these. 
Now pressing and tapping once again will engage the ANC. And that has just drowned out the ambient sound. Let's see what kind of job it's doing. Actually not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, yes, there are better out there, but there's a lot more expense out there for that option. It's working perfectly. There's actually three modes. If you tap it again, it'll say ANC off. And that kind of just makes it a regular pair of earbuds without your transparency or your ANC. All right, let's get on with a song test. And today's song choice is going to be by yours truly. You guys know by now, Artlist. Great platform. If you're a content creator, this is the platform for you. Get on down to my description. All the details are there for you. And don't forget to get yourself two free months added to the one year subscription by using my kick-ass link. Today's song is called Bold by an artist that I am in love with as of late, Faith Richards. Wait till you guys hear this girl's voice. It is beautiful. Here we go. Never knew a moment could ah. feel so right. Oh, I love her. Could I love her voice. It's awesome. Like this. Just close my eyes and listen. That's oh. everything I needed is in your Ooh, eyes. Man. And wow. in your mind. Oh. Maybe it's crazy to fall so soon. Oh yeah, these are packing some bass, guys. The voice is crystal. Okay, that's already a given. What they say. Please promise me you'll stay. Cause I'm not going anywhere. Eyes miser. Perfect, perfect. Wow. Oh man. Under the stars, cause what's mine could be yours if you want it. Baby show. Turn it all the way up. There's no second guessing, I can be myself. Wow, okay. That was incredible. And I'll tell you, if you guys decide to check out Artlist, don't forget about this artist, which is Faith Richards. She, all her songs are as beautiful, if not better. So, uh, all right, let's do a mic test real quick. Since these have those four mics built in for the call quality, we're going to go ahead and do that test and see if the truth is in the pudding. All right, for the test, you know the routine. Obviously, professional mic, Tozo mics, right? Now, how do I sound? Hopefully, I sound nice and clear. I should. There isn't really any ambience going on in the background loud enough to disturb us right now, but I'm going to do you a solid I like to play a background ambient noise to give you guys an idea of what it would be like in a noisy environment. And that is gonna happen also right now. This is a loud, noisy restaurant. Hopefully these mics are doing the job of canceling it out. I'm hoping. They're supposed to get rid of the ambience while I speak to make it clear for you. But of course, I won't know until I'm in post. All right. Well, I have been in post and I uh, do know what they sound like. They definitely sounded much better in a low environment. The mics did tend to drown. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to pretend they drowned it out very well uh, for my voice talking with that loud background. Yeah, I'm going to say they're not the best I've ever tried, okay? Um, I think they need a little more work, for sure. But uh, making phone calls, a lot of times people aren't trying to make phone calls in that loud environment. But if you are, just bear that in mind, okay? All right, let's hit the pros and cons. I'll give you my honest opinion, and we'll get you out of here like promised.
I'm gonna give pro number one to the sound of these. I thought they were amazing. The vocals alone just on Faith Richards' voice was by far one of the best I've ever heard. And the highs and mids and the punchy bass with those drivers were spot on. Obviously, another pro would be the wireless G-Charge. Love that on earbuds. And it's it amazes me that I just did a review of the Mifos that are twice the price of these and don't have that option whatsoever. So it just goes to show that you can definitely put this option on a lower priced pair of earbuds. And last pro I'm gonna go with price. What's the price? Yes, I know you guys have no idea what the hell the price is. Well, let's go there. If you were to jump down in my description down below where I will be sure to leave you an affiliate link, get a little kickback, appreciate it, helps the channel out. Right now they retail for $79.99 on Amazon, but they have a 38% discount right off the bat, right next to the price, bringing them down to $49.99. So guys, you're looking at a pair of $50 earbuds with all these features, but it gets better than that. They're gonna kick in another 10% coupon at checkout, bringing these down to $44. 99 but it even gets better than that you don't have to just go with black look at all the colors they come with you get blue brown red white and champagne i think that's pretty kick-ass if i do say so myself and i do say so myself where there are pros there's always cons and i only have a few okay uh number one no app yeah it's it's kind of a bummer I like apps to go in and tweak the equalizer and, you know, make them sound the way you want them to sound. But I can guarantee you that these are all definitely set up to be just right. I mean, you can tweak them in your own phone preferences, but you'll find out you probably won't need to. And lastly, a little on the larger size, okay? They're, they're going to be a little bit bigger. So if that bothers you to be able to lay down, if a lot of you like to lay down and listen to your music, and you, you know, lay your head on the side or so, these are not gonna be for you. Let's wrap this up. Would Brandon recommend these? I think you know the answer to that right now. Of course I would. Again, like I said, description down below. If you guys have any questions on today's review or any questions regarding earbuds or any questions on anything, don't hesitate. Drop me a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to try to get back to you as soon as I can. Sometimes I do get bombarded with lots of questions and I try to find that information for you. So it might take me a minute or so to get back to you. Before we get you guys out of here, you know the routine, right? Or maybe you don't. If you're new here, Brandon likes to open fortune cookies at the end of his reviews. And this is the end of Brandon's reviews. So today's fortune is going to be your ability to find the silly in the serious will take you far boy if that's not brandon no d's channel i don't know what is or actually my whole entire personality that is the truth i always say if you can't laugh at yourself it's not worth it guys I appreciate you watching, and if you stuck with me this long in the review, obviously you need some help, but that's okay, I'm no judge. Would you do me a huge favor? Could you like and share this video as it helps the channel grow tremendously? Thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you in my next video.